Answer the following questions. Question number one. Describe an event of justice from the life of Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him from text. Answer. An event of justice from the life of Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him mentioned in the text is when he decided a case involving the ownership of a cottage that belonged to two brothers. The heirs disputed the ownership of the cottage and they approached the Prophet to resolve the issue. He appointed Huzaifa bin Yamin to investigate the matter. Huzaifa went to the cottage for discovery and investigation, took evidence from various individuals and presented his decision to the Prophet. Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him, considered the decision carefully and approved it, ensuring that justice was served based on evidence and truth. Question number two. What is referred to as a piece of fire by Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him? Answer. A piece of fire is referred to by Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him, as a gain made by deceiving a judge, to obtain a favorable decision. This implies that acquiring unjust gains through dishonesty is similar to inviting punishment or harm, just like approaching fire. Question number three. Why was an inquiry initiated by Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him, while resolving the land dispute? Answer. Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him, initiated an inquiry while resolving the land dispute. To ensure a fair and just decision. He wanted to gather all the relevant information. And evidence before passing judgment. By appointing Huzaifa bin Yamin to conduct the inquiry. And present the findings, the Prophet peace be upon him, demonstrated his commitment, to arriving at a fair and well-informed decision, based on evidence. Question number four. How does the Holy Quran emphasize justice? Answer. The Holy Quran emphasizes justice as a fundamental principle for Muslims. It instructs believers to maintain justice even when dealing with enemies and warns against allowing hatred to lead to unjust behavior. The Quran promotes the idea that being just is an essential aspect of righteousness and encourages people to fear Allah as he is aware of all their actions. Question number five. What is the main idea of the lesson? Answer. The main idea of the lesson is to highlight the solid commitment of Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him to justice and fairness. His life serves as an excellent example for people to follow, and he demonstrated the application of justice in various situations, be it land disputes or criminal cases. His dedication to upholding justice and treating all individuals equally, regardless of their background or status, is an inspiration for humanity. Question number six. What role can justice play in our lives? Answer. Justice can play a crucial role in our lives as individuals and as members of society. It ensures that conflicts are resolved fairly and everyone receives their due rights. Upholding justice promotes trust, harmony, and social unity. By following the example of Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him, we can struggle to be just and fair in our dealings with others, regardless of personal interests or affiliations. Embracing justice leads to a more equitable and peaceful society, fostering a sense of compassion and empathy among people. Part B. Respond to each statement by writing an explanation as to why you agree or disagree. Number 1. We live in a fair and just society. My response. I disagree because our society faces various inequalities based on factors like race, gender, and economic status. Number 2. It is important to treat others with justice and fairness. My response. I agree treating others with justice and fairness is essential for building a pleasant and reasonable society, fostering trust and upholding human rights. Number 3. Revenge can sometimes be justified. My response. 
I disagree because revenge can spread a cycle of violence and harm, leading to more suffering and destruction in the long run. Number 4. There is justice and fairness at my school. My response. I agree that my schools is committed to providing a just and fair education for all students. Vocabulary. Find the meaning of the following words from the dictionary and identify the part of speech of the word through abbreviation used. Opposed. Verb. Meaning in Urdu is mohalif. Oppression. Noun. Meaning in Urdu is jabber. Zulam. Approval. Noun. Meaning in Urdu is manzuri. Decision. Noun. Meaning in Urdu is faisla. Air. Noun. Meaning in Urdu is waris. Adopted. Adjective. Meaning in Urdu is apnana. Distinction. Noun. Meaning in Urdu is thafariq. Consult a thesaurus and find out the synonyms of the following words. Unfriendly synonyms are. Hostile. Unwelcoming. Opposed. Opposing synonyms are. Disagreeing. Conflicting. Danger synonyms are. Risk. Threat. Approval synonyms are. Agreement. Sanction. False synonyms are. Incorrect. Untrue. Resolve synonyms are. Decide. Settle. Issue synonyms are. Problem. Matter. Underline the silent letters in the following words. Climb. The silent letter is B. Bridge. The silent letter is D. Edge. The silent letter is D. Comb. The silent letter is B. Subtle. The silent letter is B. Debt. The silent letter is B. Doubt. The silent letter is B. Use a dictionary to demarcate the following words into syllables. Orderly syllables. Or. Dar. Lee. Disagree syllables. Dis. A. Gree. Manager syllables. Man. A. Ja. Direct syllables. Die. Rect. Gardener syllables. Gar. Den. R. Silently syllables. I. Lent. Lee. Lovingly syllables. Love. Ang. Lee.